the cameras are wet, the lenses are wet, we are all wet, but everyone is so happy. Just look at this. Look at this madness. It's madness. It's we see waterfall and we go crazy because we're wedding photographers. Adventure elopements, that's an entirely different beast compared to traditional weddings. You're out in nature, often in extreme conditions, chasing once in a lifetime shots. But with great challenges come great rewards. I've shot dozens of them in Iceland over the last 10 years in the most extreme conditions you can imagine. Hurricane level winds, torrential rain, snowstorms, you name it. Each time it was a test of not just skill, but determination, not just mine, but also the couples. Your gear, it will get wet, your hands will freeze, and you'll probably be covered in mud by the end of the day. But that's the price we pay to capture moments that are raw, authentic, and extraordinary. So, how do you prepare? First, weather sealed cameras and lenses are a must. And here's a small but critical tip if you're shooting with Sony cameras, always use hot shoe covers. I cannot stress this enough, without them, a few drops of rain on the pins can trigger those annoying, unsupported accessory messages. A simple cover can save you from that frustration. On this particular shoot, my go-to lenses were 35G Master and 512G Master. These are primes that gave me the sharpness and bokeh, all I wanted for these intimate moments. But honestly, in conditions like this, probably a versatile zoom like the new 28-70 f2G Master would have been amazing. I, I just wish I had it. It's better to avoid changing lenses altogether when you're battling rain, wind and mud. Don't forget plenty of microfiber cloths. These are going to be your best friends for keeping the glass clean and to keep the contrast of the images. In these conditions, it just goes crazy. Trust me, you'll be using them constantly. And don't forget about yourself. Waterproof shoes, thermal layers, and quick dry clothing are essentials if you want to keep up with your adventurous couples. It's tough, but that's what makes it so rewarding, that's what makes it so fun. And honestly, you don't just survive these shoots, you thrive. Because being out there surrounded by this wild beauty is what fuels creativity and passion. So what was the It's a Kind of Magic retreat all about? It's a kind of magic. <laughs> oh, you're wondering, magic. What are you doing here? Where are you? Check this out, I'm in Iceland and I'm in <laughs> just a t-shirt. It's so warm, it's so nice. They call it the land of ice, but there's hot water everywhere. It's not even cold. We're jumping here in a minute. So look at this. This is my crib. And this is where we're hosting It's a Kind of Magic Workshop Retreat 2024. Woo! Apple confetti. Add, add in post. So we're gonna start every workshop right there in sauna so everyone can get really comfortable and nice. And then straight after that, we come here and we learn. This is me teaching. This is you guys learning. There's gonna be 12 people here. So all 12 people are probably gonna fit this couch and gonna be learning uh, everything I have to say on this big screen. And then when we're done with this, we're gonna have a little fun. And my favorite part about the entire workshop is this station right here. Let's go. Ah! Yes, you're gone. Ever? Not today. It's over. It's all over. The workshop is done. We're done. Let me tell you, it was more than just a workshop. It was an immersive four-night experience that elevated our craft sparked creativity and brought together a community of like-minded photographers. Each day was packed with masterclasses that covered everything from storytelling in extreme conditions to editing workflows and personal branding. But 
it wasn't just about the learning in a room. We took those skills straight into the field. We explored Iceland's jaw-dropping landscapes, waterfalls, black sand beach, and some secret locations of the beaten path. We shot together, experimented with new ideas, and created images we were all proud to share. And it wasn't all just work. There was so much laughter, amazing food, and unforgettable moments. Morning energy boost sessions, where my wife Suzanne held meditation and Qigong exercises as she trains Kung Fu and is skilled in Eastern medicine. Late night editing sessions and reviews, which led into deep conversations, bus rides that became story swapping adventures. So it was as much about connection as it was about photography. By the end, everyone left with portfolios full of breathtaking images, a head full of fresh ideas, and a group of friends who felt more like a family. And now, we're doing it one more time this April. 2025 edition of It's a Kind of Magic, four nights in this beautiful lodge, two days of photo shoots, one day of a trip, a family trip with our whole group, and then five master classes, photo review sessions, photo critique session, website critique session, and then plenty of time for one-on-one -on -one conversations. And here's the deal, for the next week, until December 1st, you can grab this a special pre-offer. This is a pre-sale offer, $500 off and the entire digital collection of my courses and presets. So you're saving a value of $900 by reserving your spot for the It's a Kind of Magic this following week. I really want you to be there. This is the best event I've done in my entire life and I just want to do it again. Like It's going to be amazing. It's a Kind of Magic 2025. The links are in the description. <laughs> Parkour! <laughs> okay, thank you! Okay, the next group, the next group. Are you guys...